YouTube wants to babysit your kids. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. YouTube is launching a kid-friendly mobile app called YouTube Kids. It's first coming to Android app stores on Monday. USA Today was first to report about the upcoming app. It'll feature videos appropriate for youngsters, like Thomas the Tank Engine, and it's going to filter out any cruddy comments. Parents can also set how long a child can use the app. Right now on YouTube, there's no category that rounds up family-friendly content. And whatever you do, don't search for the term family-friendly. Those search results cannot be unseen. YouTube could use a portal parents can trust. Netflix has a children's portal, and Amazon also has been pushing kids' programming. The next level is having apps just for kids. Earlier this month, Vine launched an app for kid-friendly Vine videos, although I'm not sure if it's so friendly to kids' brains to be bombarded with six-second looping videos. In other news, it looks like Pebble has a new smartwatch on the way. Pebble's website now features a countdown clock to reveal something at 10 a.m. Tuesday. It could be new hardware, maybe a software update. The website 9to5Mac is hearing that Pebble's working on a color e-ink display on that smartwatch, and it'll include a microphone for voice commands. Pebble recently pushed out a software update that gives Android users more options. If you use Pebble with an Android phone, you can now respond to text messages from your wrist with five five custom pre-written short messages. Right now on CNET, we have details on how to set that up. In the world of apps, Google's Inbox app is expanding to more screens. The email app is now available on iPad and Android tablets before it was just on smartphones. It still requires an invitation to try out Google's new format to organizing email. To get on the waiting list for invites, send a message to inbox at google.com. Microsoft also rolled out some updates to its Outlook apps for iOS and Android, which improves security for Exchange users. And the Android version opens up new ways to customize swipe gestures, just like iOS users can already do. It's just one of the Microsoft's latest moves to be a stronger player in the mobile world. And finally, a little update on the Superfish adware Lenovo pre-installed on its own computers. Lenovo has changed its tone and has apologized to customers for installing harmful full adware that left customers vulnerable to hackers. The computer maker posted instructions on how to remove it, and Microsoft also took some action. It updated Windows Defender Antivirus to remove the adware and bad security certificate. Windows Defender is the default antivirus program in Windows 8. That's your tech news update, and there's always more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.